In this video, we're going to talk about account keys. Account keys are the things that you need in order to authenticate to a uh, target that you're going to use within your workflows. So uh, uh, account keys can be things like um, credentials, like username and password, or they could be things like certificates. So if we want to create a new account key, all we have to do is go into the new account key area and then select the target type. So you can see there's a lot of target types when you drop down this menu here. You can see things like Cisco Prime Services Catalog, Cloud Center, uh, Git, HTTP, HTTP with client authentication, client certificate authentication. So there's a lot of things within this list. The most common type is HTTP uh, with either basic authentication or with a client certificate. Because everything that you connect to that is HTTP based, including things like REST, uh, interfaces will be an HTTP based authentication. So in order to create this type of authentication, all you have to do is give it a display name. So we'll call it new HTTP authentication. And you could give it a description if you like, and then you just put in your credentials. So in order to do that, you just put in whatever you would use to log into that site. And then you put in the credentials. And that's it. It's really as simple as that. Now, when you go into different types of, um, of account keys, they might have different requirements. That was HTTP. But let's say we wanted to go to something like um, uh, email credentials, for example. You might have a from address here. Um, in something like JDBC, you might, it's, that's still a username and password. Or in SNMP, you might have a version number, you might have a username, and you might have a privilege level. So depending on what you choose within your account keys, you'll have different options that you might have to fill out. But in general, it's very easy. All you have to do is select a new account key and then put in your credentials. After you have your account keys, you can then associate those account keys with the target. So if you had this on false, then you could select the type of target right here. So all of these account keys here are can be associated with this target. And that's it for the account keys por portion of this training.